Now this is not the quadcopter in the description. I'm going to get to that in a second. This is the Emax Tiny Hawk Freestyle. Uh, this is actually my second freestyle. It has 1103 7000 kV motors, a 2 millimeter carbon fiber frame, and a Matek flight control board. Uh, now the modifications I have made to this, I've pretty much kept a stock, kept a stock plug on here. I went down to more of a toothpick style propeller on here. It comes with Avon Rush propellers. Um, I prefer these right here that I have on it instead. Uh, the modification that I have made to this already, for some reason, Emacs likes to put the zip tie on backwards. So if you turn the zip tie around, this is going to lay down and almost hit the props every time when they spin around. So I undid that zip tie, undid the shrink wrap, uh, put a new zip tie on there, turn it around the other way, put a new shrink wrap on there, and it's pretty rock solid. It stays up without sliding down. Another um, modification I made to it, I caution you not to go ahead and, and um, solder this directly onto the board because I've noticed that those solder pads are pretty weak. Um, go, ahead, go ahead and you, you really want one of these, and that's a buzzer. And what I did is I ran a lead off the buzzer into the uh, solder pad and solder, soldered the lead into the uh, solder pad for the uh, buzzer uh, positive and negative. And this is the only modification that I made to this quadcopter right here and it flies great by the way and this is my first Tiny Hawk freestyle as you see here I'm, I'm making some major modifications to it the flight control board the Matek is it, absolutely good uh, uh, flight control board however it is really small it's really hard to see on the ground so if you don't have a buzzer on it um, you try to use turtle mode a few times you're going to burn out esc and that's exactly what i did on the uh, other flight control board i was really hesitant about uh, buying a new spending 60 bucks for a new flight control board i already had the parts and so i decided to do a major modification what i have here is a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter um, f4 hglrc f4 zeus flight controller that i'm installing in here this has 15 amp escs and burst rate is up to 25 i believe the burst rate of the matek that comes with the uh, tiny hawk freestyle is like either three or five amps um as you as you see i'm probably out overdoing it with these little 1103s but uh and I've had parts and I've been having a, I've been wanting to I had a meeting to go ahead and use this flight control board on something anyhow I have a, I have a couple of these I got on sale for 25 bucks so that's this is what I'm doing um, I already have most of the uh, solder pads already pre uh, soldered up I just got the TX3 to solder in because I'm gonna put a nice uh, AKK uh, VTX board on there and this is the VTX VTX board over here and this is the uh, VTX board I shall be using um, I just gonna have I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what orientation I'm gonna put it on here and it's gonna be double-sided sticky tape state taped on here um, I have plenty of clearance underneath to receive the standoffs in the upper deck uh, where this is not gonna go ahead and touch at all I've already uh, measured that out and figured that out. What I have on here for a receiver is the XM Plus receiver, as you see here. I already have that bounded up to my uh, X light. And I have some more, as you see, some more hours of work to do on it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue soldering in the rest of the motors. Get my. Uh, get my VTX installed somehow somewhere uh, what else do I have oh yeah and I'm gonna be using a uh, run cam nano v2 uh, camera and instead of the normal instead of the normal standoffs in the front I ordered these off of Amazon and I came with a pat little package like this and uh, the person who print printed these out sent me two of these so these are standoffs that will come over here to receive my my uh, my V2 Nano run cam in here. So 
I will show you exactly what the uh, build out will look like when I'm done. As, like I say, I still have a few hours to go ahead and work on this and get it all set up. I have some more time in beta flight I'm going to have to do because I'm going to have to go ahead and install the latest beta, beta flight version on here, this flight control board. I get it all set up and yeah, there you go. Totally modified freestyle. Hopefully, hopefully it'll fly. We'll talk to you later. Bye.